Hey, middle schoolers, the Smithsonian is launching an online game to teach you the basics of meteorology. It's called Weather Lab, and you can play on your laptop, your tablet, or even on your smartphone, and you can take on the role of meteorologist and predict the weather. Weather Lab shows you the complex interactions between air masses, even the ocean and currents that produce our weather. That's everything from rain and snow to tornadoes, even hurricanes as well. Let's get a closer look at Weather Lab and what it can do. And Dr. Carol O'Donnell is the director for the Smithsonian Science Education Center. Hello and happy Mother's Day to you coming to us from Washington, D.C. this morning. So let's get right to it. Now, we've broken Weather Lab into three parts. First, let's talk about the North Atlantic Gyre and their corresponding rain it brings to the East Coast. So what does Weather Lab and the Weather Lab player see as they play the game? Yeah, good morning. Um, in, in this scenario, students choose their first air mass. So it's either a maritime tropical, maritime polar, or continental polar. Now, we don't tell them which air mass to select because we want them to model the different air masses coming together and see that these different fronts and weather will form. Now, if the student selects the maritime tropical air mass, they'll see that a cold front will form as the cold air mass coming down from the North Atlantic meets the warm air mass that's being carried up by that North Atlantic gyre or that spiral along the coast. And then we ask students to predict, you know, how would you prepare for the day? Should you wear a coat? Is it going to be sunny? Should, it, should you carry an umbrella? And of course, it's going to be a rainy day. Um, we also let them look at images, satellite images from NOAA who partnered with us on this project. Well, let's talk about the tropics now. We're days away from hurricane season in both basins here. So uh, what does the game uh, teach about the tropics? So in this particular scenario, the students learn that the North Atlantic gyre and the trade winds occur as air moves around the earth, flowing from the equator up towards the North Pole. And these winds can carry moisture and drive those ocean currents forward. So the, stu the students will select this maritime tropical air mass, which of course is humid, warm, unstable, brings precipitation, and it's carried by those trade winds um, blowing across the Atlantic from Africa. Now this creates tropical disturbance and then that grows into a tropical storm, hurricane or cyclone. And students can click on a video of a real hurricane so that they can see the effects. Weather Lab looks pretty cool. So where can students find this and uh, how do they play the game? So in order to play the game, they can go to scienceeducation.si.edu weather lab or the link at the bottom of the screen and you know we hope that that brings them to a place that's too small too large too far away for them to actually engage in this kind of experience in the classroom so simulations help to do that for students yes a great way to learn and still have fun at the same time great information happy mother's day that is dr carol o'donnell director for the smithsonian science education center thanks for joining us